Hello all of you, it's me Sarah Burns, your host, and the Invisibles here today. And the question I have for them is regarding a concept that I'm formulating called the healer hold back concept. And so the basic gist of it is, you know, where in our lives or why do we get to places where as healers, as beings that have a contract to give and be of service to this planet, to our friends, to our loved ones, to our clients, and then reaching that that moment where we choose to hold back and where does that come from so they're going to get into that in their own perspective and just allow yourself to uh, to sit back and receive this transmission to the best of your ability and take any tools that are going to be helpful for you and allow the rest to go into the earth or up into the heavens so here we go <coughs> We think it's very funny that there are people upstairs creating so much noise. But Sarah's been waiting for hours for them to leave so that she could do this transmission. This transmission about holding back. And you see, this is a perfect example. In life, there are variables that come our way. In this case, sound. Being unable to restrict what happens around us. But what if you allowed yourself to acknowledge that you are part of the tapestry in its awkward complexity that there may not be your conceived idea of a perfect moment to give. When your intuition may have told you, now, this is the moment. It's your responsibility to follow through with this nagging inside of you to be of service. So what gets in the way of you being of service? to these instincts. The questions that are happening within you, happening all around you. Questions regarding how to explore divinity in this life. How to navigate complexities around you. But the healers, the ones that have been granted the ability, the receptivity to offer, whether it is a spiritual counseling, light healing, massage, psychiatry. I feel like before we can even go further, we need to understand what is a healer? What does that mean? You see, for us, we see the healers as the ones who have the desire to remind people of their more pristine nature, to replenish, to rekindle a spark of divinity within their clients, to give hope, to bring light to where there was darkness, sadness. And so if that is the healers we are talking about, then to hold back is to hold back the bridge of the light seeking to illuminate the planet through individuals. You can see it as a hungry animal 
they stare across the river and they see apple orchards. So they see a bridge and they start going across the bridge, but the moment they get to the bridge, there the healer is standing saying, I can't let you come eat these apples because if you came, you may not be able to, to take care of yourself without apples. You may become reliant on these apples and you may tell people that I have the best apples. Tell your friends. And there will not be enough for everyone. And I will feel worse having to say no to all of those that are coming to eat my ripe apples because there will be none. Whereas if I say no now, if I hold back from you now, then it's easier than having to hold back from all of the hungry animals, right? So this is the metaphor. And so that little animal leaves. And he may find some more food. But your tree will go to rot because you cannot eat all of those apples yourself. Those apples are here to share. And so what the issue is, is not how much you have to give. It is trusting that you will be able to give when you can, when you have an abundance. And that if you do not have an abundance, there is an abundance in all the others that these beings, that your clients, your friends have access to. To be honest with that, but also to be honest, if you are holding back because of a fear of the future, a fear of how long can you say yes to people, the ripple of saying yes to creator. So we ask you, what if when all of the animals came and you let them in and you shared your fruit and you gave them the nourishment or you allowed them access to the nourishment, what if they could climb the trees themselves? You see, this is the difference. You are not the tree giving all of the abundance but you are the one who is capable of preventing access to the ripe fruit that you steward. This is the same with healing work. We are not the tree that, that brings forth the healing, the nourishment, but we are the ones that say yes to the inherent nature and virtue of life itself, of source to move through us, to bring the sustenance to those who come, those who are magnetized by us and what we have to offer. For each of you has a unique quality, a unique vibrational composition. You can see that like the fruit you are growing. And in different seasons, you grow different fruit. What if at the end of the apple season, when you think that is all, only to look and there's another fruit growing, or your carrots are in season, or your beets are in season. It'll be different. It may be a different vibration of your soul, a different level of offering. But as long as you are on a planet and as long as you are choosing to steward and to hold space for these frequencies to move through you, to learn and study how to hold different complex emotions, concepts, movements, practices, 
yoga vasanas. Then you must share what you have growing if you've been tending it. This is the next question. So what if you haven't been tending the, the harvest that does not grow by itself or needs more like a... What if, what if your harvest has bolted? What if you haven't planted enough seeds? You see, this is the reservoir. This is the different energy that beings may come to. It represents the energy that takes foresight, that has smaller cycles in you. And it is okay to be honest if you do not have enough to share. But more importantly, to know that you will always have something to share, even if it is guidance towards where this being can find the nourishment they seek, even if it is a simple gratitude for them coming to you, gratitude for this moment appearing. There are ways of honoring where you're at without holding back. without holding back your answer, without holding back your rationality, if that makes sense. So we're going to finish this with a little song. And we hope this has been helpful. you decide just where you have hid your eternal truth that flows through open doors just where have you hid the wisdom within created a chasm a chalice of wisdom to know yourself within drink and you sip and you share with all you can last drop they go to the earth so she knows you're ready to have some more so the cycle of life it turns with time the cycle of truth it opens and widens the cycle of life it asks you to open your doors and answer so true marakanai kundurai inantai akile akile no marunu nai kanta dialai akialai tandayo unkairava Thank you so much. I hope this has been helpful. Aloha. <laughs>